welcome. This is Dr. Tracy K. I love you in this place. Welcome to another Spiritual Vibe Sunday message. And this is awesome because we are now, we all made it. Let's everybody give some heart claimants. Raise your hands. Say thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you. We all made it another year. Oh my goodness, we're here. Blessed be that we are here, thankful and grateful. We made it all through another year. And as New Year is about new beginnings and starting fresh. So I want to talk about the importance of considering our ways. Now, if you haven't already, please do yourself a big favor and help support this project. Um, we are working on a new website. We're trying to get that website back up. There's some issues with that. Sorry about that. But just follow, but you can follow us on Facebook at the Working It Out series. Uh, there we have a group. We have a spiritual vibration challenge group that's on Facebook. We have, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dr. Tracy K with an I. And, um, follow us, follow me on Twitter. Um, we also are all over the radio and tune in to um, our, my podcast and my radio show, which is all over on Spotify, on Anchor FM, all over anywhere you can listen to the uh, radio shows and podcasts. So what I want to talk about is um, the importance, starting fresh, new beginnings, importance of considering our ways. There's something refreshing about beginning a new year it's a time to reflect on the past year to refocus our goals for upcoming year i find it helpful to get away for like an hour or two and spend some time in meditation and prayer and i have a lot of things that i grew up as a child that was passed down from my grandmother and my mother and a lot of superstitious things that I always do. And family, um, the Italian side of the family, my German side of the family. And um, we would do a lot of things to bring in the good luck and abundance. For example, like my German side of the family. Um, of course, they're all older now. So we really don't do that. Every year when I was younger, we used to go to one of my aunts on the lake house. And every all the family would get together and we would um, celebrate New Year. And then when the um, new year would hit everybody would um take some sauerkraut and we would eat sauerkraut and we would kiss each other and we would drink and it was one of the big traditions in the family on my mom's side plus we would also do a lot more other things to bring in prosperous new years that would bring in and back then um they were very that back then we used to do where we put a penny in our left shoe before New Year's hit. That would keep the money flowing into our life in abundance. But now with today, with the inflation, um, I have upped it. I have not just added a shiny penny, but I've added a dollar and a quarter and whatever I have to do. Because we all know that inflation and economy and cost of living allowance, we've got to up that boost of energy and level up to our prosperous new year so it's a it's also um and then you know the italian side we would always do things like you know the italian pastas the comfort food so is there a lot of things that i'm sure your family does to bring in um abundance and health and wellness and happiness for the new year and we all need that. We need all the luck we can get to keep us going. So what I want to talk about right now is it's a really good time to meditate, to do your rituals, to do your prayers, and asking the universe and the Lord to guide you and in a considerable time where he's open in this prosperous new year to give and Pray and meditate big. See, God's words encourage us to regularly reflect on our lives. For when you consider your ways, you have sown much. Have you sown much? Have you harvested little? You eat, but you have never enough. You drink, but 
you never have your fill. You clothe yourself, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages does so to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says, in the scripture says, consider your ways. And uh, that's in hey, ch chapter 1, one five, verse 5. Now, it also states that when you look for abundance, you look carefully then how you walk. And not as unwise as the wise. So making the best use of the time. And being grateful and thankful because the days are evil somewhat. And you need to look for the signs. You, you therefore do not be foolish. Do not be foolish, I say. But understand what the will of the higher power is. And that's also scriptured in Ephesians chapter 5. So you need to walk in wisdom towards outsiders, making the best use of your time, which is another source from Colossians chapter 4. So when you talk about this, you need to reflect. Let's talk about reflection. I always talk about my big, one of my mottos is reflect and renew. And I will do, and don't, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because and your podcast because I'm going to do another thing on Reflect and Renew for the new year. So consider this. So as you as you look back at 2022, how do you see the universe or the Lord's work in your life? Now, you could be, some of you I'm sure, and I do, I always have, you know, I've had, and I make, I, I always suggest write things down. A petition, it's called a petition. And I, I, I know you guys out here, just like me, have petitioned things that the Lord or the universe has not granted you for years. I have wishes and wishes and miracles that I would like to see all the wonders of that I'm still waiting for. And I'm sure you are. And I know it's hard to keep the faith. And you, be, and you can become very angry about it and very distraught. And maybe there's things in your family that you've wished for and, you know, you have not received that blessing yet. And yet, it's still a struggle. Please do not, I know it's, I know it's hard. I, I, I am human. I go through it too. And it can be very, very broken hearted. And you have to understand that some of the things they might do during the holidays can be very, works of a spiritual force that is not in a good way and so you need to stay calm stay firm and stay in the heart because it's going to that whole thing is during this time it's going to be the forces of that are going to push harder and they're going to do things in family and you're going to and, and, and you know they are being ungrateful or unrespectful or disrespectful or they don't or they say things and or you know, it could be a lot of things that are going on with inside them. Do not let that affect you or take upon you into your own vortex because it is their situation, is their problem. And you have to stay in faith and love and, you know, you don't have to put up with it. You can tell them and say, hey, I'm not putting up with it. You can say, uh-uh. And sometimes you have to stay that distance during hell. And it's sad because that's what they want they want to break up the family they want to have the mother and the father against their children and disrespectful they don't you know there's a time when they need to be seen and shown the things of their ways that they're not doing right and try to push that force out of them that's causing them not to be unconditionally loving no matter what we're not perfect we're going to get in fights we're not going to break but you cannot do not i he do not go against your own children it is the way they want of that dark force that you force during these times so no matter what do if you have to do not let your family let go it is what they want make sure you do send something like a christmas card you know or an email something that shows a personal not emails emails or so whatever you need to do personal do organic. That's the key to show that you are. If not, then there's something there. But I want to tell you something. This is about that. 
What in the world can you see? When you look back at 2022, how do you see that, Lord's work? Was it not good? And I, I understand that because, honestly, you asked for these Christmas. I, I wanted to witness a miracle, this, and I have not seen it yet. I understand. But and so maybe one day some of, my, some of my Christmas wishes came true. But this time, there's a lot of things that happened. There's been, there was bad blizzards. There was snowed in. And it really did a lot for the holidays, I'm sure. There's been a lot of corruption during this time. And it put families apart. The pandemic did the same thing. So let's think about that. Why? Why is that happening? Why is this to where they're keeping the families apart, having them fight against each other, and... This is something we need to really not allow to happen. No matter what, do not heed, do not, do not put down, do not cuss, do not profane. Rise up your family, stay together, treat your family as if you would treat a perfect stranger in the kindness and love and unconditional. Use your outlet on something else. Don't reflect because that is the key that breaks it through. They want to break that line. Don't break that line. If we're lying of Jesus Christ, our Lord, the good side, that's what, if they see that, they're, they're winning. Don't let that happen. Bring it together. Bring it together. So this 2023 is about a fresh start and new beginnings. Consider your ways. Is there a particular passage that maybe you're used to seeing or hearing? Uh, if you are a follower of Christianity and you want that, what passage can you reflect back on? Keep it by your bedside. Keep it near you and constantly repeat that. Their favorite psalm, your favorite whatever. If you are spiritual in a sense, there's a lot of things you could do on that level where something that you say over and over again to push that or a picture. I This is something that I highly suggest to reflect. Get you're, everything is so digital now, but I know all of you have hard copies of photos. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go back and look at all those photos, hard copy in your hand of the times of Christmas with your family. Don't allow that negative force or that darkness or evil to allow you to forget Always remember the positive fun times of Christmas. Look back at those pictures. Go all the way back to your child. Keep it handy to reflect. So when you get angry or when you're hateful to your loved one or your family member, bring that up. Look at those pictures. That is the key. It is a weapon. It is a weapon against that spiritual force. And ask for forgiveness. Apologize. Don't do it anymore. Okay? If there's thing you have you can stand up, you know. Or distance until it things. Give it space. Space helps with time and healing. So that's another great tool, a spiritual tool I highly suggest. So what did you do to serve others? I'll give you an example. Um I everybody's heard of the Salvation Army. Ring in that bell. With that little red bucket, every time you go to the store, you see them in the grocery store. And I used to, every year, my whole family always donated to the Salvation Army. Always did. material, uh, Monetary-wise and um, material-wise on donations. And it paid off. Because, let me tell you something. When something happened to me during the time that was really bad, um, there was, you know, no one was there on supporting Losing your home or your time in the bad times. I What happened? Salvation Army was there. Salvation Army was there to help you with the bills, to help you with um, shelter, to help you with clothing. It's an amazing support uh, organization. So always remember that because it's a tithe. That's part of a tithe. And, you know, you that's... you Now, there's... Sometimes, you know, timing certain things in church are not going to be that good. But you have to really know what it reflects on. Another thing I can suggest on, you know, where did you see in 2022 where you, the universe or the higher power was working the Holy Spirit using your gifts to serve others? 
Was it to, is what was it the key to your heart? Your animals, helping animals, helping rescue, feeding the community cats, providing a winter and making a warm winter shelter for the animals out there, or helping someone that is uh, seeking donations or out there during that time. Um, you know, did you did you help feed? Did you did you did you what did you do to help serve others in that sense? And what can you do more for 2023? In what ways did you waste your time? What days did you waste your money? What days, what times did you waste your talents? You know, of course, with that being said, maybe your health was the situation. How can you, just one of the big things and I highly suggest for New Year's and start fresh, make sure you get your health care. Start getting all those um, test that you need. Sign up for your my charts for your healthcare systems, whatever whatever provider you're with, and they will constantly give you reminders. They'll remind you, hey, it's time to get that shingle shot. It's time to get that flu shot. It's time to get your breast mammogram exam. It's time to get your colon checked. Your your whatever. That's a good reminder. Get your appointment set up. Start. That's a major thing I talk about on to refocus and now. Another thing I say is, what also did you struggle deepestly in the last year? Was it um, building and trying to be, get love and and support from your family, or not pay more? What was the struggle? Was it financial? Was it health wise? Maybe it's all of it. So, yes, I think we all go through this every year. But what was maybe you you know? Oh no, love. Maybe, you know whatever double losses. What was the greatest joy for, that you had in 2023? What was the greatest joy? that Or 2022, excuse me. You know? Think about that. And put these down in your journal. I highly suggest go get my new book if you haven't. Um, it's been... I was so blessed for the support of the spiritual and self-growth gurus, top of the top, that supported me on this book it's called the secrets to self-empowered growth you can get it in a big book it gives you pages for your to keep journal and um, or you can get it in a regular size book and but i like the big book because you can it's big and it gives you longer pages so go get that book it's on amazon i will link that below um if you if you need something about beauty what's your greatest job beauty Get a beauty journal. I have a beauty journal you get on Amazon. I'll link that down below also. Now, what is it that we need to do in regards to finding it helpful for each year to plan? And what I hope to do for this upcoming year is to get our better, to get better partners that will sponsor and support and not harm our websites, our, our partners in social media so that we could keep getting that support. Um, it's so sad because that is something that's really bad. You know, you when you're going through when you when you are in educational health and wellness and you're spiritual and your those partners are very important when it comes to the websites and the social medias and helping to get more support on that level, getting more emojis to donate. YouTube is so awesome for that on my Dr. Tracy K channel. It has a heart thanks. Please click on that heart thanks. Donate anything. Start your new fresh by tithing. Tithing is a spiritual thing. Because when you tithe back to people that are spiritual, that are persons like me and other things, our partners, and you partner with us, you sponsor, it boosts that morality. Because when you tear down or when you break down, you will notice that it will not be good and you'll fall off in spirit. Well, we don't want that. We want you to be able to partner with us in an uplifting level. Not a harmful level or a blocking level or a delayed level. And we're seeking those kind of partners. And being a partner with that, with us, and helping boost that up on independence. And women, especially us women, you know, it's always been men that um, have been in the personal development or the self-growth leaders or the spiritual leaders. Now it's time for women. Support, like myself, women. And it's a time for us to be uplifted, you know, back times in the Bible, we never we never got the right. And all the women in the Bible, yes, but they're considered as concubines, Jezebels, so forth. Um, 
it's it's a new age, it's a new modern time. For this 2023, it's about lifting up us women and leveling up in the spiritual level on the personal development industry and, and category in the self-growth. And, boost, and so that we may boost in the spiritual level to bring in and lift us up. And so I need your support on that. So hit that thanks button. Hit the like button. Join as a partner. It's very simple on YouTube. Just join as a partner. And when you join as a partner, you get access to things that the regular public does not get. And you become a partner. And you become part of that circle in congregation that builds and builds and builds to bring this level up. To bring in the more of that. So what am I talking about now is making a plan. So making a plan for the 2023 that is so important when it comes to considering our ways. As in prayer, prayer as in meditation, we spent a lot of times in the past knees on our knees in prayer. But now we have our now we have our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. The whole thing the key is to refocus all good positive messages out there. I love our group. Oh my goodness. Please join our group, a spiritual vibration challenge. Or the Working It Out series on Facebook. It you will join that. You will be encouraged. You'll be so welcome. There's so many amazing art and music and messages that are so uplifting. So we need more of that. Comprehend, share, share. Liking is no, why why is it hard to like? Why is it hard to love? Click the love, kick the care, get the click, get the care button, emojis. Boost it out there. Share it out there. The more, the more, the more. And it'll keep scrolling that. So instead of getting all those other bad messages that you scroll on social media, you'll start getting more of the positive, the more filling, the fun. It's That helps with the brain and giving you more of that for 2023. Fighting sin. This is a hard one, right? Hebrew, they say, in Hebrews, they say, warns, take care, brothers. And sisters, lest there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart leading you to fall away from your loved ones and from the living, breathing, unconditional love of God and universe. The world, the flesh, and the devil seek to harden our hearts by fostering unbelief, by taking and bringing down our own family members by being profanity and cussing and and negativity and never laughing at things and God's goodness and sovereignty in our lives. Unbelief is this. It wells up into idolatry and that leads to disobedience. Um, when other people on the outside are rude to your family members, don't allow that. Why would you do that? Why would you turn against your own flesh and blood that came from you that's part of you and half of you born of you and your blood and line the precious things that is perfect that is what satan get behind me satan say it get behind me satan sin and the devices is encroaching nature it creeps on your soul it can tear your soul and your soul do you not hinder you you want to ride the ride for that oh we're going to enjoy the ride but what about your soul? Do you want to save your soul? Your soul is being stolen. Piece by piece by piece. Don't let that happen. It is written in the scripture that you, if you are following the ways of that higher power in the Holy Spirit, you live in the Holy Spirit, you have a serious weapon that the negative, negative energy, the evil forces cannot control you cannot see you have been given dominion over that and there's so many things you can use a powerful website if you don't understand it go to my other video dominion over others i will put that down there if you need to sin is encroaching it's encroaching it creeps on our soul by degrees like i said step step by step until it has the soul do you understand don't let that happen so questions are considered. Consider your ways. When, what sin are you currently struggling with on a basis, regular basis? Are you putting down your daughter? Are you destroying her, your son? Are you not uplifting them? 
Are you um, dealing and putting up constantly with negativity in your court force? Get out of that. What are you struggling when it comes to sin? Are you are you popping too many pills? Are you drinking more? Are you um, what is it that you say sin? Are you not honoring? Are you not? Uh, there's a lot of sins there. You just look at them. So there's sins. Run. I mean, we struggle with that every day. So ask for redemption. Take your time and do like I highly suggest. Come to this. Subscribe to my channels. Like and get your messages. Heed way. What methods can you use? Ever like I said, every week go to your spiritual messages vibes on my channels. Prayer, confession, apologize, ask for forgiveness, forgive them. Don't let don't let them take power over you. So you must have must forgive them. It's about not for them. It's for you. Accountability. Stand up. Don't allow them to do this. Say no. Get behind me. No. I will not put up with that. No. You are blocked. Block. Blocked. Message not sent. Message not received. So can you employ this to help you fight sin in your life? How would you describe your affection towards God or the higher power? Or goddess? Warm? Was it warm? Was it vibrant? Was it angry? Was it disappointed? Indifferent? Cold? Joyful? Pick that one. Put it in your journal. And then say, hey. Do you see what do you see how you made me feel this year? You need to change that now with our relationship. You need to change it from angry to joyful, God, goddess, universe. You need to stop God, you need to stop being cold and now being loving and warm. You need to be vibrant instead of indifferent, joyful, laugh, sweet, kind, loving. What ways can you seek to foster a greater affection? From the higher power in the new year of 2023. Now it can't just be everybody. Everybody talks and preaches for him, for him, for God. It's about time it's start to show that miracle that is reflected back on. On a level that you can see. In the ministry of this being ordained. We must believe in giving that purpose and mission. We all struggle. We're not perfect. And so the Great Commission is all to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in your faith. If you can't have that on the outside, you have it within. Welcome Jesus Christ into your heart. Welcome the higher power. Welcome the goddess, the God, the universe. Whatever you believe in a sense of the, to bring you and ask you to lift you up above your enemies and have your enemies at your feet working for you in a sense. Because they will not know it. Even, but they will be rippling about that. I an example is um, I knew a female. She was not really recognized a lot for her talents or gifts, and but she constantly, constantly, no matter how in her workforce they put her down or they or the manager yelled at her or there were constantly complaints about her in a false way which was false intent, false reports, she still stayed true and focused on what she did in her work. She still did her work. She constantly said and did her part to helping give back and help those and wellness by focusing on clients and doing what they can and never let those others who were jealous pretty much or envious or just their whole goal there was to tear down so they could control, so they could never, ever level up. And that's what happened. And a lot of people never really stayed up because they had a high turnover. Or they would actually steal or they wouldn't give the right amount of money. But just, she knew this was all happening. But she stayed true and focused on what she was being directed spiritually to help. And that was to help those who needed and came for her talents and gifts. And then when it came to the point when all these people were doing this, she was promoted. And not just promoted because this place was trying to keep her at one place and never let her succeed or go anywhere. Instead, she was promoted and was given not just one to manage, but to given five to six of them. And they all had to work for her. 
and all, and they did. So this was, that's part of the message there. So stay on your path. There's going to try to be distractions. There's going to be negative people that come against you. Build your plans and resources and build your army of angels legally, financially, physically, spiritually, whatever you have to do. Join together and you can help each other. We can help each other by going that. Put in the comments. Put in the comments what you want to see for 2022, what you're going to do. You need to seek the, because like I said, ends and odds to consider. Is there someone you need to spend more time with in the coming year? Or perhaps someone you need to spend less time with? How would you describe your social media use? Is it keeping you from face-to-face -face relationships, fostering discontentment, or eating away time that could be spent on other things? Right? Is giving time, money, and service generous? Is it sacrificial? Is it cheerful? Or is it because you were so mean and hateful, whatever, or they've come against you in a sense of level? And so you need to actually add that generosity and kindness and spirit in speaking of such. And I want to say this. May we live as faithful witnesses and the, of the best good news ever to be given. For we ourselves, we were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, Slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hatred by others, and hating one another? But when the goodness and loving kindness of the God, Goddess, Universe, or Savior appear, He saved us. They, there is all universal. People have sacrificed for us. To be free. People have sacrificed up for us. To be whole. To be alive. Be thankful and grateful for that. People. is Stay thankful and grateful. If your family still with you. Connect again. Do not block. Other family members. Getting to know your children. If it's kindness and goodness. Not evil. But kindness and goodness. It's come together. Health and healing. Because there are works that need to be done still. This is a very definite time. These are the times. So wash away. Ask for forgiveness. Get on your knees right now. Or lift your hands up right now. Breathe this in of a new fresh start. A new beginning. If you feel heavy heavy hearted or heavy whatever it's time to feel light it's time to feel being I am sending you now <coughs> bringing in the new years and new beginnings I'm sending you fresh new energy fresh obedience of washing of all this that was over you and heaviness that brought on you in 2022 and now I'm bringing this into a brand new vibration onto you right now. And according to the mercy, renewal, renewal, fresh and new. The Holy Spirit pours upon you, bringing you into the new year. Richly, although hairy, saving, trustworthy. I want you to insist, insist on this. For you are the child of the Most High. Lift yourself up. Ring in. By the count, take a deep breath in. One. Two. Three. Hold it. Hold it. Feel lighter and lighter and lighter. Release. Release. Wash away. It's washing over you right now. All the 2022 is washing down from the crown of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Pulling out and giving it back to the earth. Replenishing and thanking the earth for taking this. All that energy. 
and recycling it to freshen anew by pushing it out, churning it, figure eighting it, and bringing new fresh energy. And I want you to take your hands and open them wide to the earth. Close your eyes. Say thank you, Earth, for taking us all that was in 2022 and washing it away and bringing a fresh and new energy for 2023. For I am a nude. I have considered my ways and now I'm refreshed. I am renewed. I am refocused. And I breathe this in for Allowing you for 2022 to give me the secrets of self-empowered growth and to lift that up and feel this energy from the energy of the earth. Take your hands to the sides of you and make a figure eight. Open your hands and fingers wide. Feel the energy pulsing. Push it away. Push it away. And then pull your hands into a fist and bring it back into your center of your heart center cross your hands to your heart center bow your head take another deep breath i am renewed and refreshed 2022 has been washed away i will now receive new brush energy take a deep breath in Roll it back out. Now lift and uncross your arms and sweep down and sweep your hands all the way up. Open your hands lighter and lighter and lighter and receive from the heavens to the earth. Because remember the scripture says, as it in heaven be earth. As it will be as in heaven to earth. And you're going to ask the heavens and pull down the heavens towards you for fresh and anew, fresh and anew, fresh and anew. And sweep all the way down to the crown of your head and all the way to the tips of your feet. And sweep your arms up again and reach to the heavens. And you're going to pump your arms. And you're going to prime that energy into you. So you're going to pump your arms, reach your hands above. Say thank you. Thank you for the receiving of the brand new, fresh new beginnings. And I welcome this. Oh, blessed be. I love you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you believe in, your faith is. And I want you to close your fist and I want you to pump it, prime it, like you're pulling down a weight. Like you're pumping. Prime it, prime it, prime it. There you go. And release. So new. Shake your hands out. Shake your hands out. Oh, feel so good. Feel so good. Feel so good. Oh, refreshed and renewed. I cannot wait for 2023. Goodbye, 2022. We made it. Thank you so much for coming to share your practice with me today on the new year. New beginnings. Oh, I love you in this place. Bring your hands to your heart center in prayer mode. Bring your arms wide. Lift your thumbs up to your crown chakra, your forehead. Thank you for coming to share your practice with me today. Bless you, shine upon you, and give you peace, health, wealth, prosperity, and happiness for 2022. Now bow to claim it! Woo! Yeah! Thank you guys. See you on the next Spiritual Vibe message. Dr. Tracy K.